All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this um, problem. And basically, guys, we're going to start off with something very, very simple, um, and that is plotting points. So to plot points, I want to make sure we at least understand a couple things first, because students still make mistakes on plotting points. So I want to go back to what you guys are familiar with, and that is a number line, because we did number lines for solving inequalities, right? And we say, you know, let's say here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So positive numbers went to the right, negative numbers went to the left. Right? That was a number line. And in the Cartesian coordinate system, we're going to call that horizontal number line the x-axis. Good job. That's now what we're going to include for, to make it a Cartesian coordinate system, we're going to include now a y-axis. And a y-axis is now going to be the exact same thing, but it's now just going to be a vertical number line. So now, going up, so still, where they intersect is our, what we call our origin, 0, 0. Now, going up are going to be the positive values. And going down are going to be the negative values. So when you guys are thinking about plotting points, all we're basically doing is we just have two number lines, a horizontal and a vertical number line. Now, when plotting a Cartesian coordinate, we need to understand that Cartesian coordinates have an x value and a y value. The x value represents the distance or the placement on the x-axis, and the y value represents the placement on the y-axis. Even though they're not going to lie on each axis unless one of them, the other one is 0. No, Sheldon, he, he's sitting down, so you can just go through. So let's go ahead and get started with number A, letter A. So letter A, remember this has x and y coordinates. So. First of all, we have uh, x coordinate is negative 3. So therefore, on the x-axis, I'm going to go over to negative 3. 1, 2, 3. And the y coordinate is negative 2. So I'm going to go down to negative 2. 1, 2. That is my coordinate point A. Anybody have any questions on that? For B, now my x value is positive 3. So I go over to positive 3. And my y value is positive 2. So I go up to 2. For c, the x value is negative 3 like a, but now the y value is positive 2. So I'll go up 2. And then for d, I have positive 3, negative 2. All right, so just make sure, guys, you will be plotting points today. So you're going to want to make sure that you can do it and you understand the x and the y axis and 